Okay. So, you know, they did bring back X-Men. I do find it funny that it's called X-Men 97, even though, like, the show stopped airing in 95. At least I think it did. It's- why is it 97? I think, oh, I think, no, I think it's because it, it, it should be, like, years after. Oh, uh, two years after? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, X Men Task uh, is ninety two to ninety. Oh no, it did end. Oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah, it ended ninety seven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's still a nineteen ninety seven, and very funny. I do like when you search it up. The first first Reddit post is: Is the X Men animated series worth watching? The answer is always yes. Yeah. No, it's a bad X Men cartoon. And if they yeah. will tell you yeah. about it. I think they stopped airing before that shit could reach fucking Marvel Spider Man's here. Even though. I... Admittedly, kind of like Marvel Spider Man sometimes. Sometimes, and like, I like I the voice I've, I've watched any of the Spider Man. Only Spider Man cartoon I've watched is uh, the animated series and then uh, Unlimited yeah, and, and his amazing friends. Yeah, the animated series spectacular is good. It's, it's, I'm not gonna lie, it is overhyped, but you know, what is overhyped in this day and age where fucking nothing gets TV anymore? But, um, yeah, uh, Ultimate was like whatever in parts and then really really bad at other parts uh because that nigga just turned into deadpool at times but oh yeah because that was the, was that the drake bell one yes where they would do the freeze frame and he would just talk over his shit yes i think they stopped doing it as much in later seasons but that was like the draw uh at first it was like yeah, everything yeah this already, part of so, so he was he was cutting in and giving you the details on, on whatever yeah, which I would have worked way better for Deadpool instead of Spider Man. I don't know yeah, where they you did know that. You know, we can't make a fucking animated series, especially for a children's I, hour. Apparently not, but I mean, Gambino tried to make an an animated Deadpool shit for FX, and then they were like, "We are good. Can you stick to black people, please?" Thanks. So we hired you for right. What the fuck, this nigga? Yeah. But I don't know. We're we're here. X Men ninety seven. This was like <clears throat> this came out of nowhere, like when it got announced. I don't I mean I guess they were like leading towards it with the whole MCU leaning towards mutants eventually and getting to it eventually and then what did they buy Fox or they bought the rights back? Yeah, so it was like, Oh back. now that we can make more X Men shit, why don't we go back and do this? So this for me it came out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, and, and then everybody and was fucking like, "Fucking five weeks that this shit has been out. Everybody's been asking for uh, Spider-Man '97. Uh, what's the other one? There are other. I think it's Fantastic Four. They're trying to get another one of those. Yeah. Everybody's been asking for continuations of of these uh, these '90s animated cartoons, which I'm all here for, so long as they follow the vein of the original series. Like this, this X-Men '97 shit hasn't missed a beat. It's it, it's it's another season just with new animation." Because I've I've been watching through the uh, the original. I mean, you guys know I've watched a couple of. I've been watching through the original animated series, and it it's basically one to one, with everything except for presentation. Yeah, <clears throat> I remember when that first episode dropped, when the promos came out, niggas were talking shit. Like, hey, right. this doesn't look like the '90s animation. This looks bad. What they use 3D models sometimes. That's not faithful. <laughs> and then we got to, what is it, the fucking Goblin Queen shit? That episode dropped. I haven't heard that discourse since. Yeah, they like shut right the fuck up. They shut right the fuck up. That shit looked beautiful, though. You know, bro. We all know. We all love know that niggas talk. was bugging out crazy. And niggas loves to talk. Come oh on, my man. goodness. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, animation style looks good. All the. Classic characters are back. All you Jubilee fans, me, me. It's also the classic voice actor. Like, yeah, that's really cool well, that they got on. Uh, and those, they're still really good too. Not, not Jubilee. Jubilee. Oh. True. Storm's voice actor is still really good too. I don't know if that's that's same. new or not. Oh, Wolverine's took me a little bit of getting used to. I can't lie. I can't lie. But everybody else, dope. Crazy Beast, part is, my God. Wolverine is the same voice actor, but as you can tell, it's been fucking 20, 27 yeah. years. Yeah, it's, it's been mad long. rough to do that voice. You can't really do the gruff one uh, at like 60 something. Yeah. Actually, how old is Cal Dodd? 1950. 
you are. Cultured fella. Yes, sir. What was that, 60s, 70s? 68, yeah. So at 68, trying to do gruff man voice, it's not happening. Yeah. Um, unless your voice does that naturally, it's not happening. Yeah. Well, he still sounds good. It just took some, I mean, a little bit of adjusting to get back to. Uh, who else? Gambit and Rogue. Love hearing them talk. Storm, too. Storm's mad good. Was Morph in the, the animated series? Yeah, he was. They did a weird thing where uh, in season one, in the, in the first episode of season one, they, in quotations, killed him. And then season two starts, and you found out that he had his life saved by Sinister. Oh, uh, yeah. Which is why he acts the way he does in that episode. Yeah, whenever Sinister pops up, starts bugging. The Sinister was in his brain. All right, so let, let's dive into this shit. Let's dive into the... Oh, five, five episodes? Yeah, yeah only 17th five. Is, is... All right, so... Okay. also gonna hop on at some point. That nigga's just late. Here. There he is, actually. In the kitchen. Right on cue. What do you mean, fuck me? what do I do? I'm not a... Here goes his internet. Never mind. Why He's lagging. Oh, man. Why the fuck did I say anything? Goodness gracious. Crazy. Are these people? Hello? That's... You there? I heard you for a second. Am I gone? There you go. You were gone. Oh, brother. Oh, That's the know. cobwebs. Don't mind me. I didn't know they had all the uh, all the, the episode names out. I didn't know it was going to be a 10 episode season. Oh, shit. Yeah, they released that when uh, Bron was asking them about it. it Except Bron? <laughs> Great, <laughs> man. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Nigga said, where can, I, where can I watch X-Men 97? I loved it back in the day. Like, come on, Bron. You, you know, know exactly where to, where to go, it. brother. Oh, Product on, placement. On. You, you're such a bitch ass nigga. Oh my god. <laughs> this shit. Okay. So to start on what was it? March twentieth, they dropped the first two episodes back to back. It's the uh I guess it it's it's lining up with the ending of the animated series. So Xavier is fucking dead. Yeah, it lines up. Immediately after. Dead in quotation. Maybe a week after. Dean is pregnant as fuck. Couldn't be more pregnant. Couldn't be more pregnant, and Wolverine is pissed. Couldn't be more cucked. No, that's not what that is. My fault. He's, it's, it's not even cucked, Chad. It's truly. It, it's, it's some other shit. That, it's something a thousand times more sinister. Because they, they, they don't even try. She's pregnant right. as fuck with Scott's kid, and it's, yo, Logan, do this for me. I see. And, and to make matters worse, the only person, the only friend Logan has on this team is making fun of him as well. Fucking morph, man. <laughs> like, the, Logan said it in, uh, in the original that morph is literally the only person who's ever been able to make him laugh, which is very funny. Stupid Especially with as man. long as he's been living. Especially. I need that love triangle out of here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, X fans. I understand this is how it is. I just being messy is part of the DNA. Can everybody be messy with different people? I just don't like the the Logan, Gene Scott trio. I just it, it's not no, good. It, it, no, it's bad because it, it's not like Gene keeps letting this nigga in. <laughs> in the fucking episode five too. I was so pissed off. I was like, "What are you doing?" She was testing the waters. Like she, just she's just absolutely weighing her options. So, first two episodes, first episode, like I said, Jean's pregnant, and they bring in um, the remnants of the what? What is she called? Friends of Humans, which is like the main antagonist for the X Men that isn't Magneto, other than I guess like the government. Yeah. So they get new tech. I forgot where they got it from. I think it's like Future Tech. I can't really remember. That shit. It's not. Striker, what's that nigga's name? Pryor? Uh, the nigga that was in the jail cell? Was it Pryor? No, I don't Trask. think it was Pryor. Trask, I think is what. Yeah. Leonard Trask made the me. Oh, no, no, I know who you're talking about. I forgot that fucking guy. Let me look that up. I should have notes, but. Yeah, they got Guy it from Rich. Those... Guy Rich. Henry Guy, Guy Rich. Rich, there we go. Mm. That nigga was, was like. Nah, it wasn't me, but you niggas, y'all, days coming. That yeah, robot's just know. coming. Just I've know. Had, I've had 40 pizzas in 30 days. Yeah. That crazy-ass nigga. 
Wasn't Perfect my Sentinel tech. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was new Sentinel tech. I'm bugged the fuck out. Because I'm looking yeah. at the, I'm looking at the, this uh, image preview for the second episode, and I need to talk about this shit. I need, I need to talk about this shit, boy. First well, episode, well, so at the at the end of the first episode, Gene has Nathan, who who's, we all know is Cable, but we all know and understand everything. Then at the end of the episode, there's a knock at the door. They open the door up, and it's a dream. It's a Jean Grey, which creates a whole. As soon as she came to the, now, here's the thing: I don't read X Men comics because X Men comics make my ass itch. But as soon as she appeared on the screen, I knew that nothing good was gonna. Come. And. Yeah, I guess because they only had they only have ten episodes, they got over that shit quick. Yeah, we got to speed through this, baby. They they Mm -hmm. speed ran that shit very quick. Uh, It is so crazy. Beast is such a nasty nigga too, by the way. What the fuck, man? That nigga nigga got that. You got them test results back. Then like clear the room. Nothing didn't pull. Fucking, I guess we call her Madeline aside. He didn't pull her aside. He was just like, damn. You're not the real one. What's that shit that that people been uh calling out? HIPAA. There we go. Ain't that, right? that nigga pointed to her. He said, you, "You're the clone. <laughs> you're not the real gene." Like I said, I carbon dated <laughs> both shorties, and this one is an actual age, and you are like three years old. Fourteen. Man. You are fourteen weeks old, big dog. What's what's happening here? That nigga is nuts. And then fucking was it, Maddie Ascot? Do you still love me? And he was like, mm, mm. I don't know. <laughs> and yes, yes, she asked, but no, but yes. I don't know what she asked the rest of the room, but she asked them niggas something. None of them could look at her in her eye. Them X-Men nasty as fuck, bro. <laughs> no, look, Logan was looking her dead in her eye. He said, mm. don't pink, it's mine. Yeah, this could have That could have been the end of the fucking Reserve. love triangle. That nigga Reserve. did not go for it. Oh, my God. Such a sick Negro, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Whichever. Wait, what he said? I, I gotta see you about a redhead. <laughs> that, like, well, that is my come fucking on, man. guy, man. On, man. So nasty, bro. There and then Maddie redheads. immediately I need to see one fucking Maddie crashes out immediately. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, no, it's it's an immediate crash out. This shit is crazy. Like, I get it. Especially because oh, Scott. We, we, we didn't even talk about about the the will. So Charles, oh, and like Magnus, right? Oh yeah, Magnus. <laughs> that, that point, Charles left the X Men to Magneto. Nigga came to the crib and everybody was all on high alert. Nigga said, "What the fuck are you doing here?" He's like, "This is my crib now." I get it. To me, my X Men is so hard, bro. You know the one picture of Vegeta in the study with the book, and he's just looking up. And it's a <laughs> caption. The you, that's how Magnus was in Charles' study with that fucking book, bro. Mm-hmm. That's what he was asking was... Wolverine because he was, he put on a fucking master class in the next two episodes. Oh my goodness. Well that fucking speech at the end of whatever episode that was. Episode two? Yeah. Yeah. Because he was the body. Oh, yeah. You niggas. Well, he was ready to kill them, take them out of space and fucking smoke them out. That speech was so hard, bro. Actual master class of Magneto writing right there. I was gonna say, do you I mean, Guardian, I know you watching through the first one. Is that the first time you watching it? Uh, that's the first time I'm watching it back as an adult. Okay. Uh, Tux, you watched the whole thing, right? What, the animated series? Yeah. No, I caught episodes when I was younger, but I haven't watched it. Okay. Okay. Because I've got to say, I feel like, I mean, obviously, it's, it's the Feige money, too, but the writing is extreme on 97 in, in, in a good way, right? Like, am I, am I tripping off that, or...? No, nah. it's, okay. it, it's the same. So, so from my from what I've watched, like the first two seasons that I've watched, the writing is is pretty much the same. Like it, it's it's not as uh, what's the word? Well, the the, the delivery isn't as hammy, and it's right. not as of the time as it was back in the, back in the day. Because because the second season is what nineteen ninety three, right? So, t- television writing in nineteen ninety three wasn't really like we weren't writing. It, it, was, it was fresh. Like this, where you where you was barring niggas up or nothing. It, it, they were writing for their lives in 93, whereas this one, they're like, no, we got 10 episodes. We got it. We good. And I know we getting another 10 episodes after that. I think they already renewed up to season two, three. He yeah, renewed up to three. Yeah. So they're like, we got this in the bag. Don't worry. This shit was also crazy because Sinister showed up in season two 
Scott actually just beat that nigga. That was a moment. <laughs> that was a fucking moment. Holy smokes. Boy, they went to his secret island and they started whooping his fucking ass. So far, you don't really have to watch the original. Uh, there's a couple of things where it's just like, oh, these are... Because here's the thing. The original is uh, what I've been saying that Marvel and DC should do for years. The, the original X-Men, the animated series, is a drop zone series. So, yeah. it, so you are dropped into that X-Men world at, at a certain point where the X-Men are still fresh. Like, uh, when you start season one, episode one, they don't actually know who the X-Men are. Like, the X-Men isn't an established thing yet, but they are there. They have been working in the shadows. It's like uh, Ninja Turtles type shit. It's 90s cartoon, tele- not even just cartoon, just 90s television, right? Where they have the overarching arcs right like you're you're you have a whole season long um payoff but you don't really need to watch them to know what's going on like they all have individual episodes that can that they stand alone there ain't even no season end in payoff that shit is epic. uh like, like no that, there that, are some that, there are some that, payoffs at the end but that shit, it, uh, well the, the first two seasons that shit is episodic and then it's just like okay it's episodic but it's happening yeah. in a sequence Right, exactly. So while, while yeah. Every episode is uh, well, not every, but most episodes are self-contained stories. Things happen yeah. in a row. So if right. we fight fucking apocalypse in one episode, we're gonna talk about fighting apocalypse in the next episode, but it's gonna have its right. own storyline. Right. And sometimes they jump back and forth. A lot of a lot of Wolverine pandering, really. Not not really anyone else. Uh, Actually, gets... I think because you're watching it on Disney Plus, are you doing it through other means? Uh, yeah, I'm watching it on Disney Plus. Because what they did on Disney Plus is I think they um, they fixed the order on some of the episodes. So I don't know. I don't remember what exactly happened, but they had some episodes that were done that were supposed to be done in seasons one through four, basically. And they were a lot more like filler like episodes. It felt like in the moment. But it turns out what had uh, what happened was they released those episodes with season five. But what Disney did is when they released it on Disney Plus, they took those other episodes and kind of sprinkled them in. Like I don't know if you go into like IMDb on yeah, because there, the there's animated production series. order and then there's Aaron. yeah, exactly, exactly. Which that threw me off a lot when I was watching through it just randomly, like two, three months ago. wasn't even watching it in anticipation of '97. I was just like on some fuck it, like post surgery. I wasn't doing shit, so I was like, I got time to watch some X Men shit. And just watch the original. Good choice. Great choice on my end. It is real TV. What the fuck? Now, I can't remember. Did the series start with Cyclops saying to me, my X Men, or was that like an end of episode? It wasn't an end of episode thing, right? Like, was that in the middle, or was that at the beginning of the no, first the episode? First, the the first episode is. is uh... To me, my X Men. Yeah, yeah, it, it's, it's like that because that's what Wolverine, or not Wolverine. That's what Magneto says to them niggas, and they're just like, "Yo, uh-huh. are you are you crazy or what?" Uh huh. That's my nigga, Magnus. Crazy. They they should have killed him for that, but they can't. They can't. Why is this leader? Why is his design like that? Like, why does he look like that? He always has looked like that, man. Mm-hmm. Nah, but they made him mad, you know. Like, yeah. I know that they're trying to hammer home that him and Rogue are going to be fucking on the side. And Gambit just got to deal with it. But why make them look, Listen, why make them look like that? Not even on the side. It is straight out and, like, right in front of you. They took the danger room for how long? That's not yeah. on the side, bro. They were, they were training, bro. Yeah. That shit oh, wasn't they, on they the was side, bro. All right, nigga. Don't even trip. We're running uh, suicides. That stamina, huh? They were stamina training. You get it? Mm-hmm. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> You and them are so dear. Uh, also, I feel like the the head writer Bo DeMeo. I know you said there was like Wolverine pandering in the original. I feel like that nigga's barely in this right now. At all. Well, yeah, because I all. mean, he doesn't need to do anything anymore. Like they're 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 focusing on shit that doesn't concern him on purpose. I'm, I feel like Wolverine's barely in it. Beast is barely in well, it. I was gonna say, I feel like. At- Wolverine was um, as much as he is an X Men. He was truly there only for uh, for Baldy, Xavier. There we go. That's his name. Because uh-huh. right? Charles saved his life. Yeah, and now that he's not there anymore, it's like, I right, well, y'all cool, but y'all not that cool. So 
the, yeah, the uh, one he actually fucks go. with is is the Morph and Gene. Gene is for obvious Correct. reasons. Morph is the Correct. actual friendship. Some fucking friend talking about. Nah, Gene is bad people. Oh, but I'm so serious. Like I don't care about. You wouldn't what, get what, it. What, I don't care about what the comics say. But after yeah. watching them first two seasons so far, any any bad thing that happened to Gene, she deserved it, dog. Why did you get Logan it. episode five? You, you don't get why. it, dog. You don't get it, dog. You know what? what? This whole now I can't lie that the situation is fucked, right? <laughs> Scott's kid isn't mm-hmm. Gene's kid. It was made with her clone, and mm-hmm. then they made the clone fuck off for whatever fucking reason, off to Genosha, mm-hmm. and then the kid went to the future, so the kid doesn't even you know really exist anymore. But like, but he do, he do, he does. I don't know why Scott handled that shit like he did. You ain't, you, I'm you, not gonna you know be why. like my daddy, and then he did you know, something you know like why. shit. You're not gonna be there when your son goes off to the future, Nick. Like, what? And What's wrong? With said, you? I'm not gonna abandon my son like my daddy, and then proceeds to abandon the fuck out of his son. Yeah, <laughs> and and mother of his child, and mother of his child. That was very funny though. Nah, to be but, like, but Madeline was fucked up. What? She got hey man, Scott's she head and was like, "Yo, you know we can we can just do this shit, right?" Gene came home hey. and said, well, what the fuck are you niggas doing in here? This <laughs> nigga's mind being like, what the fuck are y'all doing in here is crazy, though. Gene, Gene, oh, pulled, up to their, stuff, Gene pulled up to their restaurant and saw him on a date with another chick. That is crazy. They was like, sex in that. Oh, man. <laughs> niggas was in Discord. Oh, he getting down and dirty, bro. Like, oh, what? man. <laughs> what? You oh, thought I should have just called, could you, huh? Better That's check that crazy. first, nigga. Brother, you you tweeted the screenshot yourself. What the fuck do you mean you could see this? Oh you, man, you let everybody see this. Like on every on every level, that shit is messy. And then niggas brought Logan into it for no reason. Like, why did you do that? Not for no reason. You know it's, what it is. Hey man, bring it up. Yeah, but Logan and Cyclops have fucked before. Not the correct. Point. We'll be fucking again very soon. I know it. If uh, that's why I'm a frost. Things are about to get nuts. Uh huh. That's why uh, homeboy left. Uh, they had to cut homeboy loose. They had to cut homeboy loose. Um, by the end of season one, just so he doesn't even try and play that in uh, season two. You know, you don't want to. You don't want to let Bo over here take it a little too far. It still is Disney. Don't forget, it's still. Oh uh, no, he he still wrote season two. Oh, for he real? Just, yeah, he just didn't write season three. However. However, you know, point still, still stands. There's still time. Point still know? stands. I don't know what he did, but you know, if he did bring up like a bad writer's room environment or whatever, maybe he was running around telling niggas, "Yeah, this looks like shit." I don't know what he posting, did. Posting cack on uh in the writer's room. Stop <laughs> it. Hey, stop hey. it! Stop it! Nigga <laughs> was posting a bulge in the fucking work slide. Bro. Hold on, I'm looking at the uh the. The thumbnails for seasons one and two, and I'm thinking to myself now, this could have gotten so much sloppier. Hold on now, hold on now. These first two of the first three screenshots could have been so much sloppier with homeboy, uh, homeboy at the helm. Come on now. How do we feel about uh? To get out though, how do we feel about Rogue Gambit and Magnus's love triangle since there's fucking two of those? Damn, it love should, triangle. It should have faked. Gambit never had a chance. Gambit should have should have just get, called his shit. He should have just gave it up. Nah, you gotta fight for your true love. No, dog. there's there's nothing to fight, dog. I can't do nothing. He he's sitting there long dick in her crazy style, and I can't do nothing about it. Like he hey. had her upside down doing Stranger Things, and and she don't gotta wear no clothes, bro. <laughs> That's some Fifty Shades of Great shit going on. Like, I I can't Holy. I can't combat that. She wants somebody oh she God. can have she can have sex with, and I can't do it. Mm-hmm. It's over. Oh my God! You're not loving hard. Nigga had her touching her toes, enough. and there's nothing that he could do about it. Hey, hey, hey! At her fucking doing what is it? Calisthenics in, in the fucking Don't. in in the Don't. danger room. Put her in the jalooper. Don't you dare! But she, you know. She was about to tell Magnus Snow and then go back to him. At, mm-hmm. at the yeah, point, because she so knows hard. how fucked up it is that she's been boo loving with this nigga for five <laughs> years, and then a nigga that she could that that could beat her walls down crazy came back into the fold, and and she almost threw everything away. 
Oh my god. Like that's not crazy to nobody. I like I think it's good character work that she realized that she was bugging out by letting this nigga beat the fuck out of her cheeks. <laughs> nigga, I'm crying. Bro. If you ain't been touched like that, man. Oh my god. Shorty never felt the warmth of another person without fucking fabric or whatever. Fucking killing them in between it. That nigga Magneto showed up and was and was doing raw nothing but it. touching. Just raw talking. God damn. This shit is crazy. What was I, that one tweet I posted uh <laughs> earlier this week? Just need her to call uh call me sweet sweetie one time for the one time. You're done. I I didn't say it. Just All I'm saying, saying I didn't say it. That shit is nuts, man. Yeah, no, there, there's no way to feel about that. It's it's literally Gamba has no shot. Like, there, there, there's, there's nothing for you here. Even if she picked you, there's nothing for you here. And I'm so serious. Like, it is nasty, because even making him try the, at least the entirety of X-Men 97 for something. That boy tried his ass off. Y'all think they're going to make like that her. relationship messy, too? They hear begging, talking about, please don't go fuck that. I know, I know he can <laughs> put it down. Please don't do it. Just the tears falling from his eye holes. N- N- Please. Nigga was sitting outside of fucking Xavier's study while he was sitting her, sitting here fucking bending her over that damn bench. What's that one meme of Wolverine holding the picture? That's that's fucking Gambit holding no, he, that a he, picture. He wasn't role, even doing that. Actually. That nigga was listening to to the beats. There was not. There's nothing left for him there. I mean, it don't matter oh. now because nothing. I mean. Did. Old dramatic ass fucking dropped the card too. Let that shit slip to the floor like he was a Drake, bro. That boy was. Listen, man. My word, man. I'm just saying, bro. Like, that shit. There's nothing to talk about about that. It's not a triangle. That nigga was never in this shit. It's just a line. I'm so serious. I'm so serious. Oh, my God. There was. There is nothing there for this nigga. Y'all think Bishop coming back? Uh, yeah, he, I think he has to, right? Yeah, him and Cable or some shit. I don't know what they're gonna do with that. Like, yeah, I don't know what they're gonna do. Like, if they're gonna go back and like prevent the whole shit from happening or what, or if the niggas are dead. Like, is Rogue just finished? Not I feel Rogue, like but, that's uh, Gambit I just like, finished. I feel like that's X Men's whole thing is the whole time travel. We're gonna keep fucking with the timeline to make y'all super fucking confused. Because that's kind of how they went out in X Men, uh, the animated series, and then obviously the the um, cinematic, their cinematic universe. But yeah, they no keep time traveling and shit. Time. Yeah, that's fine. That's, that's crazy. That, that's fun. a that's a franchise staple for the X Men. What t- time travel? Yeah, yeah, time travel. You know, dimension hopping, uh, plane hopping, like astral plane shit. Yeah, Nick is that's regularly... probably where Charles is at. <laughs> I think exactly where he's at. Oh, yeah. I'm niggas about to go fucking free him from Mephisto. Again. Nah, he, he with his wifey out on, um, fuck, what's the name of that, that, uh, the goddamn Shi'ar? Shi'ars, yeah, he with them Shi'ars. I know it. Oh, no way. He, Nigga, let me not say man. what I was about to say. The fuck? He with wifey. That's all you need to know. I, listen, I'm sick of seeing, fuck, what is this nigga's name? Sunspot or whatever the fuck his name is? He's not fucking with Roberto. I don't yeah. give a fuck about this little oh, Brazilian nigga, come, dude. I, come on, man. You hate man. him. You hate him. Come on, man. I don't give I will no say, one fuck about this nigga. I will say, I know it, it. To your point about it being so blatant and pointed, that the the one spinoff half episode they had, where it was Jubilee's birthday, and they made the point very clear that she was eighteen. So that way they wasn't having these uh, children just making out and shit. I was like, niggas you, have never cared about. I, I was about to say, I feel like you could say, do that. You could, but like that's why I was saying it was one of those like they made it. They were like, Jubilee, what are you gonna do on your eighteenth birthday? And I was well, like, all I mean, right, no, because that, that that's a big thing for a teenager. That that's what it, uh, it's not more of a. It's okay, guys. It's an eighteen thing. It's more of a, I don't know. know. Eighteen is is like the. Especially in America, it's, eighteen is like a, it's a like an huge... adult. It's an adult, like um, a sign of adulthood in America. I know, yes. I, I get that part, 
but you could have done that without having it like be so back to back. Like it was all the whole episode was thirty minutes, right? So they had part one, part of uh, the the storm portion of it. Oh yeah, no, so, hold on. yo, turn yeah. this storm and forge shit off. <laughs> Nobody asked for this shit. Yeah, that one. Yeah, this the nigga whole is sitting here whining and dining shit. her, and she figures out that he is a fucking war criminal. Like, yo, enough, bro. And he ain't even say that. He nigga said that shit for zero fucking reason, bro. Nigga snitched on himself for no reason. Just being reason. honest. He being honest, oh, man. Don't you don't need to get a lady. You don't need to be honest, bro. Nobody. You, get, you, you can't Honestly, build a relationship off of lies. Bro. Honestly, it's all not you, lies. All, all not you had to do. All okay, you future. To do. Relax. All you had to do was have them have him say, "Yo, I can help you," and then cut away. I don't need to see this shit ever again. I do not care about this nigga whining and dying and trying to lay meat. I'm I'm pretty sure also, in between these scenes he did lay meat down. Also, yeah, what is up with all these uh people simping over Storm? I'm not saying well, I mean yeah, it is what it is. Anti black as fuck. That's what nigga is. You are fucking crazy. <laughs> Nubian Wakandan princess. What are you trying to no, say? No, 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 no. That last part don't exist don't do. yet. Stop it. No, uh, do. Wakanda? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that no, nigga what, exists what, in that universe, but they, they it was one time. Yeah, he's all fucking with the Fantastic Four. Right now, no, he right? was he was in a couple, uh, kind of. I guess he he had a couple cameos in yeah, him, uh, the animated series. Fucking that Blade shit is funny because Blade was in Spider Man too, and he was like, "What the fuck, are you?" Mm-hmm. Oh no, I think Bla- I'm th- what I'm thinking Wait, no. of is the Morbius oh. episode of uh, Spider Man. Wasn't Blade White? No. What the hell? No. <laughs> it was some vampire nigga that Spider Man shit that was white. Yeah, Morbius nigga. Damn. Oh shit. Yeah. They were because like, they weren't in X Men. I don't think they were in X Men, the uh, animated series. They might have been in Spider Man. They had one. Are you one talking about X-Men? this nigga? What are you talking about? The nigga I just posted. That's Blade. That's Blade. That nigga. The is very white. same Tux. <laughs> that it's not. He's not white. Shut up. <laughs> That's how black people look. Go pull up the nigga from Captain oh, Planet. He looked the same way. Yeah. Oh, brother. Captain Planet. Black guy. Or black kid. My bad. I was going to say, that's going to... I'm going to pull up some, All right. res- All right. some All results. Right. Yeah, like, what was this nigga? What is this nigga talking about? From Africa. Like- okay. Back to the topic at hand. What are you trying to say? Our beautiful Nubian Wakandan princess, Bebo. What are you trying to say? I wasn't trying to say nothing. I just need, I need a real relationship for her, and not no, you people just don't. randomly s- simping. Listen, I don't man. need it, but I'd rather that than this extreme level of you. You go and take over American this planet nigga for you. Drop meat off, and you going and you gonna be fucking silent about it. This is Mo nigga. I ain't say it. It's who? John Redcorn nigga. <laughs> oh. Speaking of, yeah, it really is crazy that that nigga was sitting there fucking Dale Wife and nobody said nothing. That nigga that <laughs> fucking <laughs> Dale Wife the whole show and nobody said anything. She even, and they was doing it raw too. Like, that shit is crazy. That nigga whole, didn't care, man. Whole kid came out and this nigga's talking about, yeah, you know, I'm 115th native. It, boy, there's no way you believe that. <laughs> there is no way that this is what we believe. Poor Dale, bro. Poor Dale, this nigga don't know. It's not poor Dale if you can't figure it out. Fuck that nigga, but you know. That baby popped out with with a skin color that's not even remotely close to yours. Yeah, she lied to him in a word. That baby popped out full native tumba. Yeah, I must be Native American. Brother, 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 brother. That shit is hilarious. All right. (laughs) What else do we got? How'd y'all feel about episode five, bro? Let's skip mean, the rest. Well, I mean, we touched on the other episodes, but Emma Frost. That that that's Jubilee like, like that. That's, that's, what you said? I want to say about it. That Emma Frost. What you say? That you're. Oh my. Emma Frost with, with a with a fucking period, nigga. That's all I want to say. Everybody knows bed. what I'm thinking. We're Go all to bed. The same Go thing. to bed. I mean, is he wrong though? Yes. I need more. We need more. The Hellfire Club Gala. Was a nice touch. Yes, sir. that was pretty cool. Niggas was not fitted up though. Excuse, I beg your pardon. Yeah, Gambit did not have that shit on. He had something else on, but hey. I mean, yeah, he had something on his chest. 
and in his arm. Yeah. Respectfully. Crazy. Respectfully. Also, it is crazy. So the first episode of season two, right? It's um it's Scott and Gene's wedding. And Logan gets dressed up, but he don't go. Instead hey, he yo. go to the danger room to go and kill Cyclops clones. Yep, multiple oh, times at that. What? And then multiple yeah, times. So so he's pissed off that they're getting married. So he's he's in the danger room on fucking super duper fucking death march hard, just fighting shit. And then he loses and he get buried under some shit, right? He get them demons off, here dog. Here come Gene walking in the fucking danger room, wedding dress on. Talking about his demons walking in, bro. Talking about hey Logan, we we missed you at the at the at the wedding, and I had to pause. We it. I, and I said, she's got to understand, right? You everything, every bad thing that happens to you past this point is your fault. This is karma getting you back for what you're doing. Because what? Why did you think that your best eater was gonna come to your wedding? Can anyone I hate tell me? Put it like, like that, but you know why, what? Why did you think that your that your your best eater was gonna come to your wedding? I'll wait. Support me. Yeah, right. Anyway, you, you love me, right? If you love me, you're gonna be there. There's only one way I'm trying to support you. And that mm. it is fucking crazy. Nah, yeah, and after that, I said I can't defend this shit at all. Cause this is crazy. You know how yeah. this thing, is. and the worst part is, she she left the party for the uh-huh. festivities to come find this nigga specifically. Uh-huh. Why? Why did you do that? She, she, she know you the real one. That's the one that. That's the what if dog. Nigga said, you know how oh, I feel about the you. one that she got away. away. She she was fucking upset. That this nigga didn't, didn't want to be happy for her that she's marrying Scott. Knowing that he, while he don't hate Scott, he he hate that Scott is he with got, you. You gotta hate him. He gotta hate him off premise. Off premise alone. Like, that, that should be me. That nigga Scott, if, if Scott wasn't beating it down. They, they would have been fucking best homies if, if Gene wasn't in the picture. I mean, they, they is the best. Like, it, it's just, I, I want man. your wife, nigga. I'm I've, trying to put crazy meat to your wife. Yeah, the clone exists now, bro. Get out of my face. No, no, no. Because the clone is not her. I want Lord to put Genosha. meat to her, nigga. Go to Genosha, nigga. No. He go she to Genosha because he got, got her nothing. pregnant. No. How the fuck should I leave? Nigga, this is the lady you got pregnant. You go over there. That's such a yeah, fucked situation. That's every, your baby time think, every time I think about it, it's so fucked. Yeah, because it's just like, because so, somebody's going to ask, how did you not know this was not your wife? Fam, what the fuck does that it's mean? Your life. She it, looks like Jean. Life. She walked like Jean. She talked like Jean. Her powers function the exact same memories. as Jean. She's got the same they memories. Got the same, it, it's like, quite literally. All I know. Duplicated, that's Jean. They duplicated the Jean Grey that said, yes, I will marry you. And then from then on, we also don't even know when she was fucking duplicated. Because all of these events are, like, at some point in the series. Apparently we're going to find out. Because I think it is that episode. I think it is Death Do Us Part, uh, part 2, where Sinister has them. Like, he takes their, their, uh, their DNA and whatnot. Yeah. But there's so much shit in between that. Like, like I said, that's episode... That's season 2, episode 2. Like, they, there's still a whole another three seasons... In between yep. that and ninety seven, yep, which is a crazy. Way. Is, they, I thought they said that they did it when they were on the Savage Land, which I think is season two, uh, season I mean, three. Charles and and Magnus got stuck on the Savage Lands, where I'm at, and uh, I guess they are uh, going to okay. the Savage Lands, so I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if it was there. Yeah, I'll probably see it. So you'll see it. You'll see it in a couple episodes, I'm sure. But yeah, it was in that arc where they he actually ended up capturing Gene and uh, what's his name again? Scott Scott Foster or whatever the fuck or not Scott Foster? Pilgrim. You're insane. My fault. My fault. Scott per- uh, the Pilgrim man. Scott oh, Pilgrim, you're you're an idiot. They're gonna beat you to death. This shit. Is One of the idiot. same. But the, I guess the one question I got is why, if you're going to clone one of the two of them, why Gene? 
Why not Gene, nigga? What the fuck? Bro, Gene is, is like a, mm-hmm. the, the threat. Like, if there is a hierarchy of okay. fucking top five niggas on no, the no-fly geez. list, Gene is one, two, three, four, and five, nigga. <laughs> yeah, because she got the fucking telepath in, in the universe. If you homemade. What the fuck am I going to do with Scott Summers, nigga? Come on, add a little complexity. Great. Th- yeah. Make it a little tough. Make it a little difficult. If I can copy just, these, just a... these strong, one, of, one of the strongest mutants in, in fucking known history, I'm going to do Who that. Can't I'm going to con- copy her bum-ass fucking boyfriend that can shoot goddamn Kool-Aid beams out his eye. They can't even open his eyes. Like... They got to pull his glasses up to use his fucking powers and his civilian shit. No, oh, it's the other way fun. around. He he gotta he gotta wear his uh, glasses so he can't use his powers. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is he he can't is shoot it? through his glasses, like the regular glasses that he wears. He can't shoot through them. Shits. He gotta pull yeah, his yeah, glasses yeah, I, up I think... and then let that shit rip. Yeah, we saying the same thing. We saying the same thing. I think his powers suck. I think that nigga sucks. Period. But don't let them come. You ain't hear that from me. That. You ain't hear that from me. One, once you say, I, I think Cyclops sucks, they're going to be like, oh, this nigga never read a comic book in his life. <laughs> now, here's the thing, right? About Cyclops. Cool Uh-oh. guy. Asterisk. He's doing too yeah, fucking Kyle. much. He's, yeah, I, I don't think so. I, he's a fucking square, dude. He's a cop. Like, yeah, episode, episode, one, this, yeah. episode one, he's cool as fuck, right? And then you, you introduce this fucking Gene clone. And it's just the lamest shit you've ever seen regarding him, his the mother of his child, and then the woman he is fucking lame. And then he continues to fucking pout about it and cry because Magnus isn't leading the team. And I understand that's like his thing is like I want to be the leader of the X Men. All right, get over it, nigga. Come on, Xavier Tweak. Xavier left this shit to me. me Xavier me. Tweak, you gotta you gotta get past it, right? And then the nigga just fully crashes out in episode five. Which is fine. Mm-hmm. He just started, I don't even know what he was talking about. I think he was just saying shit. Some about some. He couldn't be here because of y'all. Nigga, did he not get kidnapped by Mr. Sinister? What are we talking about? Because you made the executive decision to leave. Who? Scott. That no, was his- he, no, he Scott was talking he was telling the reporter, like, because you know, you humans were wilding out, my son had to leave when that's not true. It was yeah, fucking no. Mr. Sinister's techno group that made them they have to go to the future. Yeah. So that, they, they really kidnapped that like, baby and put advice. Can he be cool? Yes. Is that nigga cool right now? Fuck, I don't think so. And that's the problem, is that the, the storylines that they do, there's no storyline where Scott is front and center that he cool at. It's always him being a fucking, being a uh, Like, it's literally episode one and two, and that guy's cool, and then after that, it's just it's just mess. He's cool because he's because... being a child fucking soldier. When he's not being a child soldier is when he's whack as fuck. Which is nuts. It's not even say. just child soldier. It, it's 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 power hungry. Like he's cool in episode one. I'm not even gonna say two. He's cool in episode one because he's satiated with the amount of power that he wants. He wants that, to lead the X Men. He wants to follow. And then fucking that Magneto come over and was like, "Nah, this is my this is my house now, actually, brother." Now, I can kind of get being upset by that because, like... I, I get it, too. I ain't saying it's wrong. Nigga, you pick as soon as that our happens, mortal enemy over me. Hey, man. Brett Brett, Tobias Harris why over he, me. Why ain't he want me, man? Well, again, because you're a cop, bro. Plain and simple. Yeah, what was what was Charles cooking, bro? Oh, Anybody know? What was Charles cooking, bro? That nigga has come by, and his his most notable feat for the X Men so far has been beating down road. Uh, I mean, not really. It's Pretty big feat. It's not what a feat. call it? He 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 got the government to slide for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, after fucking threatening five UN members. Okay, well he didn't threaten them. <laughs> he just let them know that yo, you see, you know what happened. Y'all want some bullshit? <laughs> Do not make me down, bro. Nigga <laughs> said, I want you all to know. I, I'm gonna play by the rules because of, because my man said I had to. My parole oh, officer said right I had that. to be good. You know why did Magneto take over? Uh, Charles died, and in his will, he said, "If anything happens to me, put that guy in charge." 
Y'all think that because that loving test that that, that, that will is Max real? Is, of course, I think so. I think it's real. Okay. I think the worst part about it too is that I like Magnus leading the X Men. That's correct. That's the right take. That's the um, right take. I think this is very fun. I I love Magnus. I need. I need. I know they just. Well, I mean, I guess the doors reopen now. I was gonna say I need. Uh, I was tripping when we were talking the other day because I thought I know obviously like Magneto beating down, beating down them walls, but I thought at some point they have a kid called Magnus. I could be wrong on that, but hey, that's what I was tripping out. Hmm. We, we can we can check. That kid was probably fucking busted. It's truly. Most broken fucking character yeah, I've Ma- ever Magnus seen. Yeah, Magnus is is the fucking son of of Magneto and Rogue. Yeah. Okay. That's why. I, that's why I was tripping. I was like, I'm pretty sure, but I don't. I don't want to spoil anything because I didn't even know if it happened in that episode or whatever. Which would be crazy. Yeah. Earth twenty seven. Okay, yeah. So, so in in on Earth twenty seven is where Magnus uh, actually resides. Okay, I do like that Krakoa is like an actual thing that you could do. I hope that gets adapted into something one day. Actually, I wonder if this fucking this this MCU X Men shit is gonna be Krakoa. That would be cool. That would be kind of cool. Apparently, Scott's a lot better unless he like. Fully crashes out and starts doing this revolutionary shit. Yeah, because then he, he he's just on all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like we got glimpses of it in episode five when he crashed out. I just think what he was talking about just didn't make any sense personally. <laughs> I liked it a little better when they put the like that beat over it. Okay. I thought that was pretty cool. Look but... what they had to do, man. <laughs> That's a good beat. This is I mean I said what I was gonna say. I got Hank McCoy's out there too, flirting with that reporter. Nah. Hey, you see him blush like that? I ain't never seen nobody blush like that, brother. Yeah, that'd be oh, weird ass thing. Are we? Are we gonna talk about their full on fucking breakdown on live tel? Was that live television? I think I don't think oh. it was. It was live exactly. I think it was recorded. I was recorded. No, the fact that they had they had the the, the reporters over, knowing that niggas is, is crashing out. It's crazy. Knowing that it's a sensitive time still taking an interview is crazy. Because now you, you got well, a camera crew and a reporter in your living room, and Gene and fucking Scott are sitting here wilding out, just yelling anything throughout this house. Yo, why did Scott crash out and then went upstairs and Beast wasn't like, yo, can we take this interview elsewhere? I guess he didn't expect... You That's know, not because they just came downstairs yelling shit that nobody needs to hear. I'm assuming when Scott crashed out was before. No, actually, was it before? Or was it after? Uh, Dean caught them niggas e fucking. It was, it was after. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Uh, or no, I no. I, it, it, what you mean when when he was talking to the reporter, crazy style? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was before, because then because the, because uh he walks off and says I'm sorry or whatever, and then they start interviewing Beast, and then he he they haven't fucking. The e section and uh, what you would call it? You know, <laughs> I'm beast. I'm like, hey, we can't, we can't complete this year. I don't know what's about to happen next. My bad, bro. No, he was stunned. He couldn't, he couldn't say nothing. That shit oh is fucking God. crazy. Look at what Charles did, man. What the fuck was he supposed to do? That nigga, so that he's dead. Smoked. Well, dead he in was, quotations. Whatever. He was, was not supposed to get smoked, bro. Hey man, he always said it was for the cause. No oh, nigga. Damn, okay, my fault. You right. What was I thinking? What else am I excited for? Uh niggas been posting sh- they they've been posting a lot of panels from shit, you know? A lot of what's your name? Emma Frost shit. Fucking negasonic teenage warhead. Apparently is also yep. to show up too. Um I don't know if this writer's gonna do any of that shit. They got cap you know? coming back too. I don't know if I need unless unless we're gonna watch fucking Cyclops bar up Captain America. I don't know if I need. No way around. That's what I need. 
<laughs> he was trying to make it a tee up. Go get his shorty back, yeah, man. Get, get your get back, bro. Just start, just oh, start playing future right then and there. Oh my god. Hello. Yeah, I don't know. This this show could go in a lot of different places, and I'm excited to watch. Yeah. Well, hopefully, whoever helms season three, fucking locks in. They got the juice. Hope they got the juice, man. They yeah, gotta lock in, man, because. X-Men fans have been so starved for so long. Brother, I cannot believe that Fox did what they did with this this IP. What have they had? The, the most X-Men fans have been up have been in those fucking Deadpool movies, right? Uh, Yeah, to a degree, I guess, yeah. Because they didn't really have like, anything else. Those Fox movies fucking suck. I wasn't even going to say, because Deadpool, Deadpool wasn't even X-Men technically. Like, it was, but it wasn't. They had some X-Men in there. I they mean, had, yeah, uh, they had Colossus. They got, they, they got whoever they could get. Colossus, had Juggernaut, Colossus. They had, Domino. They had Colossus. Yeah. Refer to him as Jag- Juggernaut, though? Yeah. I, feel, I felt like they... Because that was uh, Deadpool 2, right? Yeah, Deadpool 2 had all those. I don't even remember. Because Deadpool 2 one. had... First one was uh, Mega Teenage Warrior, I'm pretty sure. Yes, and Colossus. They got introduced there. And yeah. was Cable? I think Cable was in that. No, Cable was in two. No, Cable was in one? I don't even remember. remember. I think he was in two. No, Cable he was, was in two. two. That was the whole thing. Because there was Domino, who was uh, fucking Matt Damon's character, too. We can look this up. We have computers right in front of us. Yeah, computers. Ooh, All right, let's see. Cable, Fire Fist, Domino, Weasel. That's who I couldn't remember. Okay. Negasonic, Teenage Warhead, Headmaster, Colossus, and then like a bunch of no name, very loosely related. Not even X Men, but just they're in the comics. There's me and Beast. And I remember they were outside of Professor X, uh, Xavier's school, but they like couldn't refer to it as such because yeah, I don't think they had Deadpool, the rights. Yeah, the the the, uh, the post credit to Deadpool. Where he goes Not even the post credit. I thought that shit. was. Oh no, 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 no! There was like a straight up orphanage for uh, what's his name, Firefist, or whatever the fuck his name was. What I just called, yeah, Firefist. Are they gonna have Josh Brolin as Cable again? Now that I think about it, oh three, that'd be fire. You just fine. two niggas in the end, in the in all these movies. Yeah, fine with dude, it. I would do that. Like niggas think it, this is a fucking Even, game. I would totally do this. Especially if you just talking at, like um, multiverses, because there's that. There's um, oh, what's his name? Oscar Isaac is both Apocalypse and Moon Knight now. That'd be fun. That'd be fun as fuck. What? <laughs> Oscar Isaac was who? Wasn't the Apocalypse in the uh, X Men movies? What? I never, yeah, no. yeah, he was. He was Apocalypse. But yeah, what? In, in, in the Neo Fox verse. Uh huh. Like I, nigga, I watched that movie and I didn't know that. What? Uh huh. Apocalypse is a fucking little CG man the whole time. How the fuck are you supposed to know? The whole time. <laughs> oh, I, oh my god. Like no. I can I can hear that though. I did not hear Oscar Isaac nah, in the me, fucking and. <laughs> That's crazy. Damn. Apocalypse doesn't die. He always comes back. You know this. You know this. Come on now. Olivia Munn coming back would be very funny, too. Oh, Silo. Um, right? Yeah. That Fine was, with that it. That was a crazy play. Like that, that's one of them things where it's like it makes sense. When you look at it in context, you're just like, nah, y'all was bugging out. <laughs> what are we like, doing? <laughs> that, that was like, yeah, we have to catch the, catch the, the Asian lady as the Asian... As the, Asian passing character. Most times you can't even tell that Psylocke is Asian. If you look at, at the at the de facto Psylocke design, there's no Asian uh-huh. features. That is a white slash white passing Hispanic woman. Yup. In no, fact, it, it's not even just white passing. It's like white woman taking her summer vacation in Japan one time. Oh, That's Psylocke. That's Psylocke. When I think of Psylocke, I think of fucking Marvel 2 as well. I'm thinking nothing else. Mm-hmm. Shit else. <laughs> Like if, if if you grew up in the early two thousands, uh, your knowledge of X Men shit comes from TV and, and video games. 
It, it don't come yep. from comic books. Like comic books was something you you got into super late, or maybe yep. you were introduced to it first. But I know majority is cartoon. But you can't really, and I know that's a lot of uh, comic book fans ish on comic book characters. But the fuck do you want me to do about that? Like, Jesus yeah, Christ! Like, yeah, I I could read the comic book, but I'm gonna talk about what I know from the cartoon that I watched when I was did. I don't remember any of these people being in Apocalypse. Jesus Christ. Yeah, quote me. I was just about to bring up. If you grew up watching X-Men Evolution and you talk to somebody that watched X-Men the Animated Series, your fucking thoughts and opinions on that fucking love triangle shit is way, way different. Two entirely different worlds. Because I grew up on Evolution. I fucking hate that love triangle that's in the Animated (laughs) Series. Do I gotta rewatch Apocalypse? What the fuck? What, what are you, are you looking at? Yeah, I'm Angel. just looking at the cast. I'm looking at the cast and I'm just seeing who played who. And like, I remember these faces, but like, Ty Sheridan playing Cyclops. I don't remember Jubilee being there at all. Jubilee barely does anything in those movies. She's just there. I hey guys, understand, you but still, just hey, hey sparklers. Oh my it's god. Like, I, I know that Angel is. Like the harbinger for apocalypse, but completely forgot he was in that movie too. He has a fucking death was in movie. that movie. Havoc was in that movie. What the fuck? Because uh, what you call it? They they talked about Scott's origin, and I think it's in that one in in, in apocalypse. Yeah, and you see his brother. See, I don't remember that at all. That's the only stars. thing. The only thing you're supposed to remember from those movies is fucking Michael Fassbender and Evan Peters. You're not supposed to remember. Correct. It. And uh, Professor oh, X. Oh, uh, yeah. James McAvoy. Yeah. I thought you were about to fucking say J Law. I was about to kill you. Oh, and J Lo too. Oh yeah, she is. J Law. J Law. J Law. The fucking weirdest mystique ever. You think so? I mean, hey, you hate uh, those characters. Where it's just like you know, you you can cast anyone because blue, right? Yeah. yeah, you don't really got it. It don't really. You can cast her as anyone because the character is a shapeshifter, and then when, mm-hmm. when she's in her de facto form, it. But to me, it felt like at least at the time, like when I find out J Law is playing Mystique, I was like, J Law, oh, not J Lo. I know I'm saying J Law. Okay. Uh, Sounds like. But it's like well, at the time of casting, I was like. I feel like they're trying to capitalize off of this fucking Katniss shit and trying to make Mystique like the fucking third, like the third, not founder, but just like the third, uh, I guess, pillar. The third third um, leader of the fucking acting block, actor block, actor, actress block. Yeah. It was like James McAvoy, Fassbender, and then J Law as the fucking big three of the goddamn X Men movies. And I was like, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Yeah. No. Like, was cooked for so long because you had you had Taz, and then you went into the Fox movies, and it was they were box office successes. But I mean, like two and three were really two. I didn't. I don't really have a problem with, but when I think about it, I have tons of problems with it because of what it leads it. Yeah, like it, Gene the X Men movie and, series. Yeah, like when you watch when you watch the the original Fox trilogy, you see Gene die yeah. at the end of two. Yeah, you know how doomed it is. Uh huh. <laughs> and you know what's coming next. And the fact that they uh-huh. did that shit. Uh, like the fact that you you had the chance to right all of the wrongs, and you niggas did the shit again. Like Days was good. Days was a very good start. Days was and, good. And then next thing you know, you guys ruined everything. Dark Phoenix is the third movie. Why? What was the last one that they... Was Dark Phoenix the last one that they Dark did? Dark Phoenix was the last one, yeah. I mean, you can count New Mutants, but... No, we will really. not be counting New Mutants. Yeah, then That's its, its own Phoenix. separate thing. Because that... Dark... Uh, not Dark Phoenix. Um, New Mutants was supposed to be um, starting their own little spinoff. And then Arya Stark was like, nah, I'm good. That was very... I forgot... I, like, remember watching Logan when it came out. And seeing that it was leading up to the release of New Mutants. And I remember seeing so many um, commercials, advertisements, whatever, about New Mutants. 
just uh, never realized that it dropped until maybe like two, three weeks ago. I was like, oh shit, that was a movie that came out, huh? Archives since it... <laughs> and like that was seven COVID, years ago. And I still haven't watched it. Jesus Christ. Because I feel like that was another one that had like a lot of people. Let's see. 2020. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it had Maze Williams, Anya Taylor Joy, Charlie Heaton, who uh Charlie Heaton's um Stranger Things, the uh, older brother to the weirdo nigga. I don't know who the fuck you're trying to explain this to. I've not seen a, an episode of Real, said, that doesn't surprise you me. said who from Stranger Things? Uh, he was the older uh, brother that was uh, fucking what's his name? Will's older brother in the TV show. I think I know you're talking about. Nigga that wore the hat, right? Uh, that wore the hat. No. He's I'm the not. one that um, how to say. The brother, the younger brother was the one that gets taken control of by the darkness fucking thing. Fucking demo His Gordon. brother. Yeah. His brother. This, yeah, this dude. Uh, Hold on. You'll see the face and you'll be like, oh, yeah, okay. Let's see. Let's see, chat room. Uh, there you go. Oh, that nigga. Marquez Jr. Hold on now. Hold on now. Don't. Hold on now. Uh, like an X Men. Marilyn Manson was in this movie for for what reason again? This is insane. Anyway, I think we covered everything. The dude with yeah, the hand, we'll, be we'll be in, back. Oh yeah, at the end of the season. Five more episodes. Yeah. Oh my Roberto Sunspot fans, stand up! Don't make some don't, noise. Don't do you, do nobody. Before we go, I got fan. one. Do y'all have anything that you want to see in the second half, in particular, whether it be like? Something need, from the comic, something you want to see that isn't the broken up love love triangle. I need Jubilee to lock in. No, no, uh -oh. no, I don't need that. All right. <laughs> I need Shorty off my screen if I need that. That's crazy. I don't even hate her. I'm just saying. Honestly, um if, if anything from the from the back end of this show, it's other X Men. Okay. And I would like to see the other ones because uh, a big thing that they would do with Morph. In, or I mean, they still do it with him. Is he would just transform into the other X Men that are just either yep. off world, dead, or whatever? I yep. would just like to see them expand that universe, or even better. I would like to see um, that. I don't know. Have Spider Man pop in there or some shit. And he, he niggas own these IPs, so go back to doing what we were doing before. Thank you. Yeah, nigga, where the fuck is Tony nigga, Stark? Don't show me that nigga. Yeah, he could. <laughs> You can stay out of it. Man, he's dead in the movies. You might as well, you know. Not yet. He coming back. Yeah, cut that out. He coming back. Cut that out. Hell no. I do need... Is Robert Downey Jr. in debt? I hope not. Huh? Didn't this nigga just win a fucking... Yeah, he just said that he's down to come back to the MCU. He, he yeah, must he... be in debt. No, that, that nigga fi finished his side quest. His side, oh, quest yeah, was, he... his side quest was to win an actual shit as an actual actor in an actual movie. Uh-huh. And he, he got it in a year. He got it in a fucking year. He's like, I go. You saying he finished wow. his story? Yeah, actually. That's crazy. Alternate I need uh, I need January 5th bad man to come back. Because he was actually kind of... He was... He... I would also like to see uh, Emma Frost as well. Oh, yeah, no, I need that. Yeah, I need... Yeah, 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 yeah. I absolutely need that. Alright. Fuck Sunspot. Right. Anyway, no, no, no. Fuck Sunspot, man. Or whatever fuck this nigga is called. Relax. Sunspot, yeah. I don't even give a shit what he is called. Take him off my screen. They you call him a ni You niggas could have brought Iceman into the fold and you brought fucking Sunspot. Iceman, Iceman is another actual, one. That I mean, I granted, X-Men is LGBTQIA plus fucking mm -hmm. representation. But Iceman with OG OG, triple OG. I forgot he was in the original movies, too. I saw that the other day, and I was like, oh, my God. Man, fuck the X-Men movies, man. What Holy the hell, shit. dude? What a waste of fucking time. What is this nigga's God, problem? Damn. Anyway. My problem is those movies. Okay. You're fucked up. Correct. That's it. That, that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Goodbye, team.